Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is BNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I am showing you guys my September favorites. September is a good month because it is my birthday month. And I actually had a lot of products that I really, really enjoyed that I've been trying out all month and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy and if you do, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Really quickly, I always say this at the beginning of every video, if you notice my hair lighter, it's because it is. I ended up getting some highlights. I really just wanted a little bit more brown in my hair, not so much like dark cooler tones, but they kind of went overboard and it turned really brassy. So yes, I do have lighter hair. Yes, I am going to tone it. It's not going to stay this orange looking. So just letting you guys know before you kill me in the comments. So this video is actually really exciting because I am partnering up with Deck of Scarlet only for one part of the video. This whole video is not sponsored. There is just one product that I wanted to share with you guys from Deck of Scarlet that they are sponsoring this chunk of the video. You guys know that I love being very transparent with you guys, so I wanted to let y'all know that I will have just a couple more sponsorships with them this year because we're actually working on something that's gonna be coming out very, very soon, so definitely keep an eye out for that, but I just wanted to let you guys know in case you were wondering why there were a couple more sponsorships. That is why, I hope that you guys don't mind. I really love sharing awesome brands with you guys and getting paid for it is even better. So. Today, like I said, they are sponsoring this part of the video and we're going to be talking about the Orticle palette. So if you're not uh, familiar with Deck of Scarlet, let me just show you guys a little bit. If you've been following me for a while, you guys know would know what Deck of Scarlet is because I've worked with them before and I've actually used a lot of the products before. What it is is just a beauty subscription makeup line. They usually come out with face palettes that include eyeshadows, uh, blushes, highlights, and also uh, lip products. And they always try to collaborate with a popular YouTuber so they can be the artist in chief and they can show you guys how to make looks with it. But they have added different kits with different kind of products, not just the same exact format every time. So they have been coming out with different stuff, but no matter what month it is, you'll always get a brand new product. So this is a monthly thing and you do get it in the mail. So this month they actually did a special edition 10 eyeshadow palette. So again, it's not like the face kit. This one is purely eyeshadows and it is 10 different ones. And then the next month you will get a kit. Um, so the cool thing about it is that before you actually get it in the mail, you will get a preview. And if you don't like what you're getting, you can actually skip it. So um, you know you know what you're getting, but you know that you're also gonna like it. The Deck of Scarlet is cruelty free, paraben free, and it's now vegan, which is awesome. So these full size palettes or the kits, whatever you're getting in the monthly subscription, it only costs, I believe it's only $29.95. So that's a lot less than literally just one product to get at Sephora, so I think it's an awesome deal. So let's talk about this month's palette and I will show you guys how to use it. I did it on my eyes and I did it kind of like a smoky galaxy look. And by the way, with this palette also comes a really, really nice black Kajal liner that I will also be showing you guys. This is in the shade Black Magic. So like I said, this is a special edition and it is called the Orticle Eyeshadow Palette. It has anything from neutral to colorful to light to dark, mattes to shimmers, and again also with the graphic eye cajal in the shade Black Magic. And shipping is available to USA, Canada, and UK and it is free for US. So first I'm actually going to use the shade Trans, which is a really beautiful rich plum shade and it's actually a satin finish and I'm going to be using a flat brush and I'm just going to apply that to my lid. I kind of want to play with all the colors that I can possibly so you guys will see a lot of that going on. So to start blending out the edges, I'm going to use a shade Voodoo, which is a deep navy matte shade. It is really beautiful and it also will make a lot of beautiful eye colors pop. And to blend up the blue and just neutralize it a little bit, I'm going to be using the shade Omen, which is a matte finish, and it is a neutral medium purple brown. It is a really beautiful chocolate shade with purple undertones. Definitely something that I haven't seen in a while. And then lastly, to make it just a little bit warmer, I am going at the top with Sacred, which this is just a warm orangey brown, just to bring a little bit of the warmth back. So as you guys can see, I kind of want to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to use the shade Sorceress, which this is an awesome shade. 
It's a black and purple with a satin finish. So it's, it almost looks shimmery, but it is a satin. And I'm gonna put that right on top of trans just to deepen it out. And to give it that very like galaxy effect and to lighten it up just a little bit, I'm gonna use the shade High Priestess, which is the true platinum with a metallic finish. It's almost like a baby blue tone, but very silvery. And I'm actually just using my finger and patting it in. I don't want the true opacity because I just want little specks of it on top of my lid. I will be going in with Tear It, which is just a warm light peach, and I'm actually going to highlight under my brow bone with that. So for the lower lash line, I'm really just mimicking what we did at the top. So I'm taking Voodoo on a small brush and really lining my lower lash line. And then I'm actually gonna take Sacred and Omen and just really blend it out. And I thought we would do something fun in the inner corner. And again, I'm going back with High Priestess and using that in the inner corner and it gives it a more fun vibe. Of course, this is the entire look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys want 30% off your first month, look at my description box. I'm gonna leave a link right there so you guys can get that awesome discount. So my next favorite is actually a combination of products and techniques. So I figured out a different way to do my brows. I've been doing them like this all month and it is just the easiest way to do them personally. And also it kind of gives me bulletproof eyebrows, which just means they don't go anywhere. So I actually filmed that part before the eyeshadow, but I will show you guys right now. I like to go in with the Benefit Give Me Brow. And if you're wondering, I do use the shade 4.5 and this is what's gonna make all the difference. So I used to use brow gel to just set my brows, but now I use tinted brow gel to fill my brows so that I don't have to use as much product, whether it's with a pencil or a pomade. So I will go in with this Gimme Brow, and I like to use a lot more product at the end just because I have less hairs there. Obviously, everyone's brows are differently, but I do like to run it and get an even coat on my whole brow. For the natural days, I really just leave it like this and I'm done. But for the glam, I do like to go in with a couple extra products. So usually I like to do this in the middle of doing my makeup because I do like it to dry before I go in with the next product. But for the purposes of this video, I'm actually using my little fan from my Amazon haul and I'm just drying my eyebrows. Since we already filled in like 99% of our brows, what you like to use next is up to you. I've been really into pomades. I had used a pencil before, which also, this works great with a pencil because I feel like pencils just run out way faster, but I've been into pomades. So I've actually been using the Benefit Cabrow, again, shade 4.5. And like I said, you use so much less product and the reason why I use this is to really define my brows, make them a little bit darker if I am doing more of a glam look. I always like to set my uh, pomade with a powder and that's only because I don't have very much hairs at the end. So I don't like that fading and then my brows being darker in the front, lighter in the back, I hate that. I want them to stay the exact same way that I put them on on. So I do go in with a powder. I've been loving this powder for a while now. It's a little crusty and dusty, but it is the foolproof brow powder from Benefit uh, on the shade five. And I really just use the darker shade and I all I do is really set the ends and a little bit of the front if I want to. I know that's a lot of products um, and I know they're all high end, but they're all really, really amazing. It's been like my favorite routine, so I really hope that you guys enjoy that. So for my next favorite product, I really wanna talk about Haley's Beauty. As you guys know, I just did a full dedicated video for Haley's Beauty, not sponsored, not anything. And I fell in love with a couple of products and I actually went on vacation for a whole week and I took these products with me because that's how much I like them right off the bat. And they didn't disappoint and I definitely wanted to share them with you guys. So the first being this sponge, it's obviously dirty because I did show you guys how I applied my concealer um, with it. And this is just the Haley's Beauty sponge. It is so, so nice. It is definitely like the perfect mixture of softness and porousness. It is the shape of a beauty blender for half the price. It is so, so squishy and I do like to use it damp. What else can I say? It's just a really, really nice sponge and if you've been looking for a new sponge but you don't wanna spend that $20, but you want something very, very similar to the beauty blender, I think this is definitely like the best dupe like real dupe that I have found because I do like a lot of different sponges. They're not necessarily dupes for beauty blenders, but I feel like this is the best dupe that I've found. So you should definitely check it out. Okay, so the next product, I know you guys know if you watch my Haley's Beauty video, how much I loved it. And it is this beautiful, magical, loose 
powder. So again, Haley's Beauty, and this is called the Retouch Perfecting Powder, Loose Setting Powder. It is a translucent powder. This is the only shade that they have. But guys, this is a filter on your face. This will make your skin look so velvety. It won't make your under eyes look dry at all. It'll make it look like it's poreless and you just look like a little ceramic doll. Um, this is literally the first powder that I've ever noticed such a drastic difference when I use it that I literally fell in love with it. It is so good. I cannot recommend this one enough. If you want to see more in depth of how I use it and all the little details, definitely go watch the Haley's video. I can put it up here if you're interested, but guys, this is no joke. New Holy Grail powder. I dare you to show me a better one. I dare you. I'm being really dramatic. Let me just give a quick shout out to this one. This is the Haley's Beauty Retune Blotting Powder Invisible Blotting Powder. So this is actually a compact um, pressed powder. And I did review this in that video, but I told you guys that I couldn't really give you a good review because this is for blotting powder and it's more for oily skin. But I don't like to waste products, so I decided to bring this on my trip as well and just use it as a setting powder on my face because since this is so good, I didn't want to use it all over my face because it looks so beautiful under my eyes. So I started using this all over my face, and I do have to say it makes my skin look so, so soft, velvety smooth. Everything on top goes on so beautifully, and it does keep my oils at bay. Again, I'm not a very oily person, but I do notice how beautiful this looks and it also doesn't flash back. So definitely don't be afraid of this one and try it out. Like these are definitely amazing products. So the next two products are two bronzers and they are from Benefit Cosmetics. If you're wondering why I'm talking about Benefit so much, um, well, I'm not talking about them because of any other reason other than I really like them. But I recently got added into their PR list, so I've been really trying out so many products and I'm so happy because I know a lot of them are very, um, you know, they're not inexpensive, so I wanna make sure that you guys are getting the quality that you would need to really make it worth your purchase. So I actually have been obsessed with these two Hula bronzers, so the regular Hula and the Hula Caramel. I actually purchased this one myself, and then I got this one in the mail. But the reason why I never purchased regular Hula is because I like a, a little bit of a warmer bronzer. So for me, it, I just never really thought it would work. And then Hula Caramel is literally all my orange warm dreams but it doesn't look super orange as you guys can see in the video that i'm going to show you guys it just really warms up the face but i have been loving hula for contouring and then i've been loving caramel to add on top to really warm it up they're both matte beautiful velvety super pigmented bronzers i really like the formula do i think you need both absolutely not if you're just looking for a bronzer um if you're more like my skin tone definitely try caramel it's beautiful if you're a little bit lighter or you like cooler tone try hula but if you're like me and you're just extra then contour and bronze with both thing it's kind of a weird one but it's kind of cool at the same time so you guys have seen me talk about the ColourPop ultra blotted lips I can't go anywhere without this this is in the shade soda pop i it's really just like a powdery lip tint um it's kind of like a lip blush if you will so i put it on my lips and i kind of rub it off and it fades and it just looks like my lips are actually that color which is a really beautiful look for a natural look so i was actually pretty desperate i was gonna go somewhere and i didn't have any blush on me I decided to just put this on my cheeks and blend it out with my hands and turned it into a blush. Because even though it's liquid, it dries powdery, but since it starts as a liquid, it really sticks to the skin. So long story short, I've been using this as blush. Um, I still like to use powder blush on top, but I love blush and I want it to stay on as long as possible. So I've been using this to like really reinforce it and it doesn't mess up your foundation even when you have powder. So I just dot it on my cheeks and blend it out right away with your fingers and it looks awesome. If you're very minimalist and you don't like using as many products as me, then um, buy this for a lip tint and then use it as a blush and it's really, really cool. 
it's really nice. But that is it for this month. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Definitely let me know if you guys like this format where I actually show you guys the products and how they apply on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Happy October, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.